guys 2800 cord all right very important valve guys very important right here earlier we did the support plugs in this car got a full video out there guys check it out but this pcv lot right here is very important all right this is it's gonna be in the same location if you have a 2003 4 5 6 7 8 honda accord similar looking four cylinder engine it's right there guys all right so we're gonna go step by step first oh first of all the part number on this is right there all right that's the part number it's probably like 24 bucks that's what it looked like it's located right there all right so first we need to remove the clamp of this hose and pull off this hose and then we're gonna turn off the PC valve, all right? So let me set everything up and we're gonna do this together. Yeah. All right, guys, first of all, step number one. We need something similar to this, a needle nose. We need to get that little guy right back there out, all right? I like to switch sides on this, so when I put it back, it's right up over here, all right? After that, you could take the same needle nose, you could turn this pipe a little bit because it's probably stuck to it, and then you're gonna pull this little guy out, all right? Complete access to that PCV valve. What this PCV valve does is it sucks and ventilates the whole crankcase inside the block. Any fumes, it sucks and throws it in there. Over time, it will block up. There's a little check. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that camera. There's a little. Do you hear that noise? There's a little valve. If that gets stuck open, it's gonna lose a lot of vacuum. All right. So vacuum is not good. It's gonna run lean. You're probably gonna have misfire. All kinds of stuff. Also, it can suck oil through there and throw it back into the engine block and burn it. All right, next, you're gonna need a number 17 millimeter deep socket, so you can put that right on that. So this fits, you see this is a new PC lot? It fits right on it perfectly, all right? And then, with your ratchet, you're gonna go turn this counterclockwise, all right? So you pretty much, you take this, and you turn it, Sometimes like this it comes loose really fast, but if it doesn't just keep turning it with your ratchet But this was pretty easy on me. You see that? It's not looking so good. All right After that you don't need to do anything. Don't put no Teflon or nothing. Just take the new PC valve All right one thing I'm gonna back up It does not come with it but there's a small little guy right here. Let me hit this. So we are gonna put that back together. All right. That's a crush washer. All right. Let me clean it up. I didn't notice that. I didn't notice it now. So this little washer, let's take it off this one. This should give you that piece with it, but oh well. Anyways, you're gonna take this little guy Make sure you catch the threads first. Use the socket if it needs to be used. All right, once you catch the threads, it should go in really smooth, guys. Really smooth, all right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to tighten this little guy. You're going to take your hose next. You put the hose pipe on. Make sure you put this clamp on, and bada bing, bada boom, you just saved yourself a good 100 bucks, a PCV valve that you should change every 30,000 miles, all right? So that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like all of my videos, and bye-bye.